mail bag time. Another thing here from Fluke, we'll check this out. A few other bits and pieces, see what's arrived this week. Don't forget to click like and subscribe if it's your first time here. So there's a 3 volt bulbs, LEDs. Let's have a look at one of these. Standard holder type. Was that ES10 or something? Is it? I don't know what these are called. I don't know what the fitment's called. This is something my wife might want for a project she's working on. Well, that's the plan anyway. Should we try it out? Okay, here we go. Let's try it. I'd say blue slash UV bulb. Looks mostly blue to me. Let's just dim this lights down a little bit. So it should be nice and grainy now. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's just like a blue LED, really. I know it's UV. It certainly it's putting a lot of blue out. I know it doesn't really show up on camera though. It looks alright. Two point five four millimeter eighteen pen. Ah, zip sockets. And twenty eight pen, two point five four twenty eight pen. These are the zip sockets. There you go. Eighteen pin zip socket. Now this isn't actually exactly what I want. What I actually want is a sixteen pin. Which I've also ordered. But I thought while I was at it, I'll um I'll get some bigger ones as well. There you go, these the other type. It says diodes. What do we have here? One in four double O O O. Come on, spin. One in four double O seven. Here we go. And these are the same, I think. Yes. So two lots of one in four double O seven. These are, I think, they're six hundred volt rated. I can't know what the ratings are, but there's a. Uh, I might chuck an overlay over the top there. Um, just general purpose rectifier diodes, nothing particularly special about them. It's diodes, good for repairs. Thanks a lot to my Patreon supporters, or people who support me through YouTube memberships, or even PayPal donations occasionally. Get us hard to time. Or help me to buy things from Mailbag and stuff. Hmm. What's this? Ah, uh, okay, right. So this goes back a little while, actually. Open this one up as well. Maybe not with that, we'll open it with this. So I may have seen in the mailbag about six weeks ago now, I by the time you see this one. I've got some breakout balls from Breakout Ball Factory. Really high quality breakout balls. Look beautiful. But before I actually talk to the person about getting those and supplying those to me, um, I actually ordered these already from China, so these predate that. It shows how long it took them to get here. <laughs> and um, so basically, it's a micro, sorry, mini USB. It's not micro. Got two mini USB to break out boards. Got six micro USBs. Oh, sorry, ten micro USBs, and a couple of standard USB boards. So if I try to test power supplies and stuff, I can just put these up to my DC electronic load and use them for that. That was the plan. Do I have one here? Yes, I do. Here we go. This is one of the ones that I got sent to me by... I've forgotten his name now. Sorry. But anyway, BreakoutBallFactory.com. Really high quality ones. Let's compare this to one of these Chinese ones. You see the design is very similar. Right? Very similar sort of design. These have got breakouts of ground as well. But, you yeah. know, I think those are there. So, yeah, ground. And then you've got the four pins there. So it gives you an idea, but as you can see, this is a really nice quality ball. This one's gold plate and everything, so it doesn't really compare. If you want a nice high quality one, you go to this place. If you want a really cheap one, you go to China. Um, depends what you want, really. But yeah, breakout ball factory. I wish I remember the guy's name. He sent me loads and loads of breakout boards, loads of different ones, and uh, so I did that in a video before. Showed all that.
and uh, yeah, so the Chinese ones finally arrived. But the thing I wanted was basically one of each. I wanted like a micro USB, mini USB, and a standard USB. So I could make little adapters up for my DC electronic loads and test power supplies. I just plug things in. So, uh, but now also got these better ones as well by now. So that's why I just want something on my shelf ready to be used. Anyway. Oh, some more of them. I had some of these arriving, is it last mail bag? I think it was. These are just battery strips holding down batteries in your cell phones. So you do a battery replacement on your phone, you need to stick it down with something. That's what these are for. You would have seen me use these in videos when I've been doing phone refurbishments, you know, the iPhone repairs, battery replacement style stuff. You would have seen me using these things. And uh, I actually ran out of them. So I had to get some more. So I've now got plenty of them. Excellent. We'll get to the fluke thing soon. What's this? Just a RS or something? In a 14 package. MOSFETs. Okay. Ah, oh, right. I know what this is for. Guess he's stack sensitive, are they? I think three of them. All right, these are IRF5305. Now, this is for projects I'm building soon, which will be featured. This can go on the back of the bench with the rest of the bits. So this can go on the back of the bench with the rest of the bits. I'm queuing up for that particular project. All right, box and fluke. So, this would be a sponsorship thing. They've sent me a couple of things for free. I contacted them not long ago. And uh, they've sent me a few things to play with. So, so this is a test lead kit from, well, Fluke. It's all actually from Pomona. So Pomona slash Fluke, it's sister company sort of stuff. So I actually contacted my contact at Pomona, who I was dealing with about a year or so ago, and he sent me some stuff then, and um, I actually contacted him about obtaining some fluke multimeters. I said actually well I've got you. And he sent me some more cables. And he sent me this one. As well as some other ones I've got to review yet. So I've got so I've got this lead. I've actually got another one the same as this. I've only got two of these which is great. I've actually been using one of them. Hold on. So I've actually been using this. And you've got interchangeable tips. These are super sharp. So I'll be doing a review on these. I've been using them. I actually quite like them. Really small probes you know. Quite easy. Really light. And this is meant for doing more delicate work, you know, and um, really, really sharp tips on them. And um, interchangeable tips as well, you can change them and swap them out and that sort of stuff too, it's pretty good. So that's what's in here. They sent me two of these, which is great. So I've been playing around with these already, actually using them. But I'll be doing a review on them, along with the other test leads they sent me too. So thanks a lot, Pomona, for sending these to me again at no cost. That's excellent. So I've got... Uh, a few things to review in the uh, upcoming weeks. Brilliant. So don't forget to click like and subscribe if you want to see these reviews on what these cables are like. I mean, these are based on fine electronic work. So if you try to probe around circuit boards and stuff like that in quite confined spaces, or you don't want something too clunky and something is going to slip off and short things out on a circuit board, you know, really fine IC pins and that sort of stuff, then you want something like this. Yeah, you'll see why in the review. So watch out for that. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And I'll catch you later. Bye.